This video solves the following problem. When you have a, um, an entity framework in your ASP.NET Core application or any, any application where you're connecting with entity framework, when I get some data here from my database context, from my table articles here first or default async, so connect this one with a, with a call. When I say here uh, F10, then there comes an error, next step, which says data is null. This method or property cannot be called on null values. So we are copying this one for my documentation. But anyways, I will show you net, net versus, so once again, copying this one. So I take it in my documentation. So uh, the reason therefore is that we have a database and in this database, this is my table. And from this table, when I go there to my, uh, to the structure of my table, then I see, okay, I have here a lot of columns and all those columns are allowed nulls. So for example, if a title is null, this doesn't matter or if, if a text or a folder is null. So when you call this one and say, uh, show me the first uh, top 1000, uh, element or this one for example then you see here i have uh, a lot of values and one of those va values is null you see this ones and the folder is null a keyword is null uh, and i'm happy that it happens this way but uh, but this means on our entity framework model this is connected with uh, entity framework we have here the application db context you have the same in wpf or in asp on all asp uh, core uh, applications then you're connecting your database model and in there it's very important to say uh, that it's public uh, that this is the, your style how it, you're calling and all values which are allowed to be null has here to be set with this question mark otherwise you get uh, you get this one and now here you see it's uh, these ones the, and also let's see uh, the folder and all the other stuff the this one is also possible to be null prepared by so now I'm starting again and this one says okay uh it, it's allowed to be null but on my entity framework when it, when you're creating a class object then it says uh start with an empty string should be okay but also everything else is also okay so now i'm starting with my project again i go in there and say hey i want to see an object and we come here to this point again with our Angular in the front end. Need to time. Dun, 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 dun. Running, 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 running in the background. Now, come on. Loads that data. Now I go to my data set and it should jump now to that in the background. Here we are again. And we say, get the first value which is has the idea has any idea now i say f10 and swap now i have my values in there and i see all values and here are my fields everything is done and if something is empty then for example here the folder is also to be allowed null that's the great miracle behind there